guys, it's makeup basket time. Welcome back to my channel. I am super excited because I have a whole bunch of goodies in here that I haven't used in a long time. Some stuff is old, some stuff is new, some stuff I've had and just wouldn't even open it because I have so much stuff I haven't used. So it's kind of a nice mix of, uh, of stuff. My dog is whining. What's wrong, Bubba? What's wrong? Daddy left. Papa left. My husband like walked in and out of the house real quick, so I think my dog is sad. Um, so I'm just going to get started. Let's start out with my Maybelline Baby Skin. Everyone is talking about this. Everybody loves it. I love it. Um, I don't believe this is a exact dupe for the Benefit Professional. Um, they do work slightly different. But unless you have problematic skin, unless the pore professional is your go-to because you're oily and you have pores and you need staying power and all that, stick with that. This is this is perfectly fine. I love it. It works really, really well. And it is like $5.99. So holla. So I have that. Very excited about that. I'm going to be using my Olay Fresh Effects BB Cream. I have it in Fair to Light. This I'm I do like this. I am just not a fan of the scent. Um, it's not a bad scent. It is fresh. I don't, I really, it's a little perfumey. I don't know. I can't really explain it, but, but it is nice. But I mean, this is like a huge tube. This is two and a half fluid ounces. So I'm like, I got to start using this. I also have these two samples. This is the Guerlain, Guerlain Lingerie Depot Invisible Skin Fusion Foundation with sunscreen. And I have two of them in Beige Claire. So the fact that I have two, I'm like, okay, I could probably use this. This might last like maybe three uses, you know, with like a thin layer. So I will use this and let you guys know what I think. This is not something I will ever buy. I am not, I don't know how much it is, but I know it's a lot and I won't buy it unless I literally put it on and it turns me into Beyonce. That's the only way I'll, I'll buy that stuff. But who knows? But I am excited to try it out. It's just kind of like, oh, something fancy. Um, I do have the new L'Oreal True Match Mineral Powder. This is in ivory, light ivory. And I got one in like a beige color and it was just so dark once I put it on. Look at my lighting. Okay. I have three kind of varying in opacity and power. So the strongest one I have is Amazing Cosmetics. This is in light golden. I... I mean, this is so old. Look how like dirty and dingy it is. Let me just, I should just wipe it down a little bit. Like, oh my God, my wipey isn't even working on it. That's how gross the packaging is. But this is what it looks like. And um, I do really like this concealer. It is very opaque, very thick, um, but I haven't used it in a while. So I'm just kind of like, hmm, I wonder, did I love this? I think I did. So I'm going to use this guy again. And then where did I put the other two? Here we go. Then I have my NYX HD Concealer in Medium. And then I have my Maybelline Dream Lumi in, I don't know what, in Radiant. And this is just kind of like a highlighter. So that's like the Hardcore Concealer. This is just like medium coverage concealer. This is nice. I can never really use this on its own anymore. I think it's just because I'm so tired lately, so fatigued. These bad boys are like out and about they are showing their true colors literally so this kind of needs some help this is nice just to add some like radiance a little bit of highlight give it you know a nice luminous finish under my eye so it's not just like caked on with concealer now on the rest of my face i have let me see these guys so i have my urban decay naked flushed palette and this has a bronzer a blush and a highlight these are so pretty i really like this highlight a lot. It is, oh gosh, I'm wearing this thing. You like can't even see it. You can kind of see, but who knows? But I really do like this. It is very, very pretty. Um, I do like that it's like a three in one. And I like that the bronzer is big. And then I have my Mary Luminizer highlight. And honestly, I don't even know how many makeup baskets this has been in or will be in. It made my 2013 favorites for a reason because I love it. I'm just like, why even lie? Like, if I put it away, look at that from a distance. You can see how gorgeous it is. Like, look, right over that other highlight that I love, and you can see this one. Um, if I didn't put this in my makeup basket, I would still use it. So I'm just going to be honest with you guys. I also have ben I also have Benefit Coralista. I bought this blush like a year ago. have not put a dent in it. I used to wear it all the time. It smells so nice. Oh, it's just so pretty, guys. I just, I use this a lot more in the summer, but um, 
but I love it. I just, oh God. And it is nice and light, but, um, but it is pigmented. So it does show up on my skin in the summer. Cause like a nice glow. And now that I am significantly fairer than I am in the summer, you can see the actual color a lot more in my cheeks. Let me see eyes. I have two palettes and a few singles. So I have my Revlon Color Stay Quad. This is in Brazen. It just looks like that. And I, um, oh my God, guys, I absolutely love this. I filmed a collab with my friend Carol from the Blush and Brunette. And this was one of the products that I mentioned. And it just products that we've hauled or products that we bought that we used, never talked about, that kind of thing. Just kind of giving reviews on stuff we never mentioned to you guys. Love this quad. You can get so many different looks. You have mattes, you have like like satin shimmery colors in here. It's just so beautiful. This is amazing in the autumn. Amazing in the autumn. But I feel like in the summer it could give that nice glow. In the winter it just warms up my face. I mean, it's just absolutely perfect. And these are, what, like six bucks or something like that? Come on. Come on. I also have this adorable little Hello Kitty palette. I got this from Sephora. Um... Oh, I got it because my sister-in-law had it. First of all, come on. How cute is that? And then we have these beautiful colors. I mean, some of these colors. Oh my God, I'm, I could just die. Even this like top color, which I would be like, oh, how am I ever gonna use that? Look how gorgeous. The sheen on these um, are absolutely beautiful, very pigmented. The quality is really nice. This bottom color right here is just my favorite. And then it does have uh, a bottom layer that has these like highlight colors. Very pretty. So I haven't used this in months. I probably use it only like when I just got it and then moved on to a million other things. Cause at that point I couldn't stop myself from buying everything. <laughs> so um, and then I do have a few singles here. I have my tried and true L'Oreal Infallible. This is Strawberry Blonde. I absolutely love it. Lorena, if you're watching this, I do have yours. And I've just been like waiting to send it out in case I find other stuff. But I'm just going to send it out. And if I find other stuff, I'll send those out then also. But uh, but I will send this to you because I love it. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous like duochrome. It has purple. It has pink. This is definitely a perfect summer color um, and spring also. Ask me if I care. No. I want to wear it now, and I will. And then I have these two. These are, um, I believe these are powder, like mineral shadows. Yes. And these are um, Coastal Scents. Okay. And these are from Coastal Scents. I have this Indigo Vision, which is an indigo color, and then Squeeze Me, uh, which is a nice like yellow gold color and I won these in a giveaway um, from Beauty Two Shoes so if you guys do watch like all my videos regularly you would have seen these um, and I haven't used them yet just because I have so much stuff and then I won so much stuff with her giveaway so I do want to try them out because they look really fun so I have those eyeliners I have my Essence Gel Liner this is in Midnight in Paris I believe this was in my 2013 favorites. I want to say it was, I don't know, but I think it was. But this thing is like $2.99. It's so black. It is so creamy. I mean, there's a bunch of product in here. This is, this is the best cream, like gel, like eyeliner that I've ever tried. I haven't tried a billion of them, but when you find something that's like $2.99, and it's amazing, not just nice, but amazing. You kind of don't want to bother going high end and trying those out. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Because I have um, that Hello Kitty palette and then that Revlon Quad Brazen, I wanted to make sure that I had like a brown liner of some sort. So this is just the one from Jordana, the 12 hour made to last liquid eyeliner pencil. This is an espresso last, which I love. Those are so, so creamy. And my dog is here, just making sure he didn't steal something and eat it. And then I have my Star Looks Amethyst Eyeliner. I got this in an Ipsy bag. And um, it is very, very pretty. You can see there, it's like so much sheen. Um, and I have used it like on my wa like my waterline or just like lining my bottom lash line. I want to try it out though with one of the Coastal Scents uh, with that Indigo because I feel like if I put this on my lid and then put that over it, it would just add like a duochromeness to it and it would be really pretty. So I have that. 
and I feel like I'm so far away from the camera. Let's get closer. Blah. All right, is that any better? <laughs> we'll see. Um, then for mascara, nothing super exciting to me. At least I have my Maybelline the, the Rocket Volume Mascara in black and then my CoverGirl Clump Crusher. Um, these are both good mascaras. This is waterproof and it's just such, oh, it's so annoying to take off. I feel like it's ripping off my eyelashes, but um, in my January favorites, I am showing or showed, depending when that goes up, um, how I now take off my eye makeup and I have a new eye makeup remover and I wanted to test it out on this because that's kind of like the kicker because this I don't use because it's so difficult to take off and I do love the clump crusher and these are very similar in wand you know with those, those plastic bristles so have those guys and then I'm left over with lips <laughs> you guys know I love lips so my dog just hit my camera sorry um so then I'm left over with lips, which I know you guys know I love my lip products. <sighs> Where to begin? Where to begin? Okay. He's walking by again. Just making sure he's not going to hit it. I have my Maybelline lipstick in um, Nude Lust. This is from the Buff Collection. I wear this so often. I feel like I said often really weird, like like how my mom says it. My mom was born in New York and has like a little accent. It's adorable. Um, but I love this. And this is kind of just like a staple. I've been keeping this in my bag and like when I go to work, anywhere, because no matter what I'm wearing, once it wears off, I'm like, oh, I'll just pop this on. So easy to apply. It's not even like you need a mirror. It's perfect. Um, I also have my CoverGirl Blast Flipstick. This is in Flashy. I wore this a lot in the summer. And this is just like a nice... You ready? You done making all this noise? Uh, this is a nice, like, purpley, magenta-y color, and the other end is more frosty. Oh my gosh, sniper. How much noise are you going to make, Bobby? Go sit. Back up. Go sit. And then I have this color cherry picking from Wet n Wild, and it's sealed. I haven't used it. Um, it's a, It throws me off because this is like a wine color, but then this color here is definitely more of like a pinky red. So we'll see. But everyone loves this color, and it's like 99 cents or something, so I picked it up. And then the last three things I have. Sorry, guys. I feel like I'm looking to the sides and looking down more than I am looking at you. So let's connect over the last three products. So I have this um, CoverGirl. This is... oh. Do they not have a color on here? It's number 230-2341. I don't know. But it's the CoverGirl Lit Perfection Jumbo Gloss Stain. And it's just such a pretty color. I haven't used it yet. I have like these little things on, so now I'm swatching my fingers. But I thought it would be more pigmented, and it's not. It is like a sheer wash of color. The Jordana Bomb Stains, definitely a more pigmented than this, but it is a really, really pretty color. So I wanted that. I also have this Revlon Lip Gloss. It's a super lustrous lip gloss in snow pink. Guys, look how beautiful. I know you know how beautiful this is. There we go. You can see that shimmer and sparkle in there. It's gorgeous. And then the last one I have is this Liquid Glass Lip Gloss from Jessie's Girl and Scarlet Fever. Look how red that is. So that's my makeup basket. I hope you guys enjoyed. As usual, let me know what's on your face, what you've been loving and hating, and if there's anything in this basket that you are really excited about and you want like a review or you want me just to update you quickly, briefly in another video, let me know. Um, I can also just update you guys on Instagram or something like that. Hey guys, I completely forgot. I was supposed to announce the winner of my giveaway. Um, I will inbox you directly. All I'm gonna ask for is your address so I could send you all this stuff. Once I have tracking, I will send that to you also so you know. Congratulations, and I hope to do another giveaway soon. I really appreciate each and every one of you and just wanted to give back a little bit. So if you didn't win, don't worry, you know. That's how the cookie crumbles. We can't win everything, you know. But uh, hopefully I'll be able to do another giveaway relatively soon. So I will go ahead and show you the winner now. And again, thank you guys. Stay beautiful and stay blessed. Bye.